Hello, my name is Kyle Nave, and this is our uh, dynamics video on uh, chapter 4C. Uh, this is example 10, where we have two blocks on a smooth surface, uh, both with an initial velocity, and uh, we are given mass A, mass B, VA1, and uh, VB2 is zero. And then we are given the coefficient of restitution of E. Uh, we're asked to find VB1. Starting off with step one and step two, uh, we're gonna draw a free body diagram and we're gonna draw coordinate systems. Uh, the free body diagram here, you can see all the forces, uh, force on impact in both directions, and then a normal and a weight force for each block. Uh, coming over here to the coordinate system, you can see that we have a, a 90 degree coordinate system where there's a plane of contact T and a line of impact N. Uh, the, for, the force of impact goes through line N and uh, the normal weight forces are in direction T. The forces of impact for each block are the same, so the, the net force is zero, which means momentum is conserved in the end direction, and that goes the same uh, for the normal and weight forces for each block. They uh, cancel each other out, so uh, the sum of the forces is zero, and momentum is conserved in the T direction. Uh, my name is Afla Beneton, and for this um, video, I'll be doing step three. Um, step three is to write all the forces in vector form. Um, as you can see here for block A and B, the normal and the weight forces both cancel each other out, and the um, the the react the impact force basically is negative F in the n direction and positive F in the n direction for box B, which means that they both cancel each other out, which means for this. Um, problem that momentum will be conserved. This is uh, the beginning for step four, uh, applying the equations. Uh, like in this problem, the forces uh, in the end direction is zero, so momentum is conserved in the end direction. Now, this is the equation that we're given when momentum is conserved in the end direction. You have uh, MVA N2 plus MB VBN2 equals MAVAN1 plus MBVBN1. Uh, basically, the momentum at uh, time two is equal to the momentum at time one. Now, uh, since VBN2 is zero, we can get rid of that term and uh, make that equal to zero, which gives us this equation right here. Now, we have two unknowns in this situation. We, we, don't, we do not know VAN2 and we do not know VBN1. So, we, that's where we have to come over here to the coefficient of restitution and with some simple algebra, uh, you get that VAN2 equals uh, negative VBN1 minus VAN1 times E, uh, which are all given, except for VBN1, which we're trying to find. Now, again, with some simple algebra, you can plug VAN2 back into this main equation and uh, here are a few of the steps you can pause and check them out if you want, and my friend Afalabi will talk to you about the backside of this equation. So on this side, we basically um, solved the equation for VBN1, which was what we're trying to find in this problem. And for the final answer, VBN1 equals negative 0.474 meters per second.